that is the Lovecraftian ending of the world as well. Yeah. Yeah. Or cultists. Like, in itself, of... like, just the whole Lovecraftian thing, it's just pretty, you know, realistic, to be honest. Because I feel like a lot of the times where we're just buying into, like, oh, we can totally save Albert Bird, but maybe it's like, as we mentioned before, right? Like, the thing about Lovecraftian art, the moment you have hope, you're basically screwed. That's when, That's... It's, when it's out, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's when you realize that you've completely lost. <laughs> it's definitely more of, like, an external source to it. Yeah, it is, yeah. Where it's, it's like... something else. Else. Yeah, it's like the second world piece is achieved. It's just going to be a bunch of fucking, like... Cavemen. Shoggoths, like, bubbling yeah. up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> the street cracks. Yeah, and yeah. aliens and stuff. Yeah, for sure. And of course, I feel like there's some sort of force of nature, like thing as well as like just diseases and all that. And it's just you know, yeah, yeah, another... and it's something that's completely intangible. You can't see it. You know, mm-hmm. that's what yeah. makes it so scary, right? Mm-hmm. Well, mm-hmm. that's what the uh, the World Challenges Foundation, which are like the people who are analyzing basically all the threats to mm-hmm. world the, the world itself as yeah. a whole. Yeah, and they thought they've yeah, global pandemic was one of the ones that they're that's a... they think is a threat. Mm-hmm. And that's like, like that new one, that MERS, that's like the new SARS. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, the one uh, that happened in Korea. Yeah. And yeah. It, it, that one is apparently starting to spread pretty bad. Yeah. It's like a new Kill SARS. A but, but SARS only killed like 774. Like mega SARS? Yeah. Is that yeah. way the MERS? And no, it's just a MERS, different, it's a different it's region different, that it started yeah. in or something like that. Korea, but at the same time, it's still having, it's like the same symptoms, I think. It's pretty like, sure, yeah. It's basically, just a, it just kills people. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's just basically the same, I think it's the same strain, but it's evolved. Oh. Like, it's changed itself to get a little, like, you can't fight it the same way. Mm-hmm. You know, things just trying to survive. Yeah, they're, they're all, like, super bugs anyway, right? So yeah. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> just, it, they always change and, and adapt. <laughs> yeah, but then, like, I think medical technology has advanced within these 12 years since SARS happened. Definitely, yes, but yeah, also so. a lot of people have been using the shit out of sanitizers, like, way yeah, too much. Exactly, so. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're, we're not building up immunities to anything. Always not kind of fun. one step behind now yeah. by trying to be ahead. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Taking antibiotics for everything. They get oh, that's just stupid, though. They just got to get back to work really fast because yeah. they won't get paid and they'll get kicked out of their houses. <laughs> As yeah. someone it costs so fucking much. <laughs> kind of been fluey the last few days. Yeah, <laughs> I know that feeling. I yeah, know. like you know, half, almost half of the podcast group. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah we just you got all Cronenbergy for a little bit. <laughs> 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 Yeah, so, I don't know, that being said, too, like, I've, I've, <laughs> we've had, there was one of my coworkers who was just like, yeah, one of the scientists is saying that, like, well, basically just got 50 years left before, before the end of the world and stuff, just with everything been going on. Yeah. And, yeah, I don't think so. first thing I could think of was like, oh man, I gotta start welding some spikes to the yeah. station wagon, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> like, yeah, what? Exactly. Like, yeah, I'm not even joking. <laughs> you have to start armor plating your cars now. <laughs> yeah. <But> anyway, <laughs> if that's the case. Break out all the leather jackets and shine it like, you know, yeah. that's just the most intimidating one. Yeah. Tack some solar panels to the top of your car so you don't have to re- rely on gasoline quite so much. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Get the biggest cod piece. In 50 years, <laughs> in 50 yeah. years, everybody will dress up like Rob Halford. Rob Halford <laughs> and those and those two WWF guys. Yeah, <laughs> the oh, fuck the Undertaker. Mayhem. May, yeah, the Mayhem. Oh. Mayhem. They're like red, yeah. red and black. No, yeah. and the... Road Warriors. The Road Warriors. The Road, Road Warriors. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, like Twisted Sisters. Or yeah, something. yeah. 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 Everyone's just gonna look like fucking glam rock. <laughs> <laughs> It's gonna be beautiful. The glam- yeah, it's gonna be the glam <laughs> The last hurrah of humankind. <laughs> the glam oclips. The glam <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> That'd be wicked. I call dibs and all the blonde Twinkie boys. Wait, what? That's- <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Totally platonic. You just <laughs> totally. run in with your football gear and like just raid all these makeup sections. Yeah. Let's go, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Show through the windows. I mean, and you see Nikki sticks in a corner just crying. Like, <laughs> they took yeah, it all. This. They took it all. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, my, my favorite thing from like Mad Max Road Warrior was the, the two, I think kind of like that main bone of contention that happens is uh, there's two characters. Uh, one's called the, I think it's called the Golden Youth. And oh, you're gonna, everyone's going to hate me for forgetting his name. But like basically like the main like war dog uh, the dude with, like, the red mohawk and yeah. big oh, yeah. pads and stuff, and, like, he's basically got, like, the golden youth, like, the super, like, skinny, blonde boy with, like, 
basically like just the chest cut out on his leather jacket and stuff. <laughs> He's like kind of got him chained to him and everything. And what happens is the golden youth gets killed by the like the savage child. Mm-hmm. <laughs> just gets boomeranged in the fucking forehead. Oh yeah, like just, just the most Australian way to die. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But yeah, like, the, the dude freaks out, and he's like, I'm gonna kill all of you! Ah! <laughs> and stuff like that. And uh, that character is the only person who denies that there was any, like, gay context or subtext between those two characters. Really? Yeah. Really? And everyone else is like, oh, yeah, yeah. Even Frank Miller is like, yeah, they boink. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Just why it's like, it was just kind of cool, to, like, yeah, especially for a movie, like, 70s, 80s, it's so, mm-hmm. like, progressive, and, like, yeah. it's actually pretty, like, why else would these guys, other than yeah. just being raiders, like, exactly. mm-hmm. made it personal. Yeah, yeah. So. It's like the whole, uh, like, heavy metal movement, like, uh, heavy metal fashion thing, right? Mm-hmm. Like, you know, metal kids are thinking, like, this is, like, the most manly shit, and then, like, you know, people are just like, this is pretty gay. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's like, yeah, leather bar gay guys. Yeah. You know, like, it's like why the, are you guys dressing like us? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like the motorcycle, the motorcycle game, but not all this stuff. It's like, yeah, that's our thing. Yeah, yeah like Give the back that hat. bad yeah. boy kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, totally. But yeah. Rob Halford was that crowd. You know? Yeah, 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 he yeah. was for sure. Yeah. So and he popularized it, which is pretty cool. Yeah. It's it's funny. Yeah, it is definitely like like it always kind of comes down to that that like manliness and like the intimidation and stuff, right? It is. Yeah. yeah. So it's just like yeah, it's it's great how like that has just been like the definitive. Of the future now is, is like, yeah, hockey pads. <laughs> yeah. Hockey pads, lots of leather, <laughs> crossbows. Spikes. Meanwhile, it's Spikes. like slaring ass sun. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. Like, why would you be cooking yourself on purpose? Uh, I don't know. Of course you all want just... water. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> you need to look cool if, you know, if you don't look intimidating. Yeah, I guess, yeah. Good yeah, point. that's true. Yeah. <laughs> just, yeah. Oh. <laughs> We're in the post-apocalyptic stuff to the the last convention. <laughs> it's like oh, yeah, it was like imagine. ten degrees cooler then, and I was like, "Oh man, this yeah. is kind of ridiculous." <laughs> <laughs> well, it's so good though. I love I love yeah, your, it. Really that was fun. It was wicked. Yeah. Yeah. It was, really cool. it was good times. Just ho- hockey pads, set yep. straps, and bolts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't wicked. know how to sew. <laughs> Neither did they, and that's why it looks authentic. Exactly. I guess so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is real dirt I rubbed into myself. <laughs> Imagine you see, like, like oh. on one of the backs of one of the big trucks is, like, the costume guy, with, like, a little singer. Yeah. <laughs> and then, like, with a little foot pad- pedal and stuff. Like, guy, stop, stop jiggling the truck. <laughs> so they're trying to, like, sew these chaps together. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they all yeah. have their own, like, fashion designer. It's, like, in the back, and just, like... I was talking about like, the whole post apocalypse thing. It's like, yeah, what? To like make yourself look authentic, a lot of times people spend just a shitload of money. <laughs> like trying to get like all this tactical stuff and then you gotta cut it up and Yeah, I bet it's yeah, yeah. Clothes, but... just go yeah. to Value Village. Yeah, that's, that's what I did. I was just yeah, like, there, I grabbed yeah. this just cut jacket. up some clothes and just layer it over and just and then rub some dirt and spit on it and Exactly. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna be making some stuff out of leather, but that's yeah, that's cool. Well, it's like it's like your thing anyway, right? <laughs> yeah. So. yeah, yeah, that's yeah, that's kind of what they. So that's if, kind of what they do. So if you know, we ever have that scenario of uh, apocalyptic wasteland, Terry's got everything handled. We'll be prepared. Yeah, I'll make yeah. you guys all your armor. Actually, speaking of water, we're running out of it pretty quick. Yeah, I heard about that. Yeah, so they're thinking that in the next, I think by twenty twenty five, they're going to say that like two thirds of the world is going to be very low on water. And we're kind of yeah, effed that. that way. I can see that. Apparently the main reason that we're losing a lot of water is irrigation and stuff for crops. Mm-hmm. And apparently it's done really inefficiently at the moment. No one's really changed their methods in a long time. So we're still using like these really outdated methods of watering crops and all yeah. this kind of shit. And it's really, you know, like realistically speaking, that is a very huge threat. And of course, oh, yeah. we being, you know, in Canada, we just never really notice it. Like, its effects until, like, you know... I don't think a lot of people actually are aware of that. No, exactly. That's one of the things that people just don't really... Like, 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 realize that, you know... Yeah, yeah, like, the amount of water we're using, it's kind of like, you know... Yeah, exactly. And I mean, like, America will probably run out of water before we do. Probably. And the thing is, if we have the water and they don't... Oh, yeah. (laughs) What's gonna happen? Like, we either make a deal or they 
come yeah. marching up north. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, like that could very well happen. Yeah, because um, it's bountiful resources. That yeah. that's another thing that yep. can, you know, <laughs> yeah, really that's lead to the apocalypse. <laughs> yeah, totally. It could it could incite that whole war that ends everything, you know. Exactly. The water wars. Yeah, yeah. Well, they, and I mean, if you look, apparently uh, Israel, they recycle their water. Okay. Yeah. They actually recycle. Well, not for <laughs> drinking. They recycle, like, like you know, sewage water and all that kind of stuff, yeah. but they use it for crops. Yeah. Oh. Okay. And all their irrigation and, like, all their infrastructure water and all that kind of stuff. So they've got that figured out. So they're actually running their, like, their water situation, yeah. despite where they live. It's quite mm-hmm. you know, yeah. arid. They're actually doing pretty good because they've got that system in place. Yeah, Whereas, and you know, we shouldn't really have any excuse not to do that. Yeah, yeah. well, again, like you were saying, it's just because we didn't really have to think about exactly. it. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, until no one recently. Yeah. Yeah. We yeah. just took took it for granted. And, of course, like, as you said before, like, Israel being the place where it is, the water is already scarce, so they have to, like... Is either us or you know, mm-hmm. yeah. So exactly. we kind of have to figure this out, and I think, mm-hmm. like, I don't think that we're going to be screwed over by that. I think it's more like, eventually, when we're faced with the reality of it, we will eventually like, okay, we need to do this. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, it's yeah. not unsolvable because Israel has done it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and but that's the thing is like, it could very well be too late by the time all the big people in control realize it. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's true.